everyone, this is Snowbell. It's so nice to meet you. So, back in December, my dad and his friend did an art RP for me and Hector for Christmas. We know Christmas is over, but hey, why not make it Christmas in July? <laughs> anyway, hope y'all enjoy. Hi, a neighbor. <sighs> What do you want, you talking brain freeze? Mm, well, I figured even a grumpy Grinch like y'all could use some Christmas love. So, while I was out getting something for my siblings, I bought you a new hat! <laughs> I figured you'd appreciate having a hat that wasn't all torn to pieces. I uh, hope you like it. Merry Christmas, Hector. What kind of sick joke is this? First, you approach me acting all chummy. Then you come back with mistletoe. After that, you try and scare me. <clears throat> and now you're giving me gifts? What's your deal, Snow Cone? I was just trying to be friendly. The only reason I scared you was because I thought you'd like scaring people. And I wanted to show you I can be scary too. And... I just thought you'd like a new hat was all. That one seemed all torn up. Um, I'm sorry if I was... If I was being a pest to you, Hector. I just wanted to make you happy. Oh, no. No, no way. I ain't doing this. Jack Nabbit! <sighs> if you're still offering, I'll take the hat. But if you changed your mind after the way I treated you, I understand. I'm sorry. Huh? <sighs> Whatever. Just take it. Thanks. By the way, I admire your bravery and compassion, but I hope now you get why it's better to stay away from me. I ain't a good person, kid. I've done things I am proud of. I know you think you're doing the right thing by being nice to me and trying to see the good in me. But trust me, after all I've done... I ain't worthy of redemption. Well, you're right about not being a good person. You're about as ornery as a mangy raccoon. Obviously, you don't take too kindly to a random person's kindness. You know, sometimes I wish I knew what goes on in that straw field head of yours. Why you act the way you do. Why you treat people the way you do. What happened in your life that made you act like this? What? Oh, who? <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry, Hector, that you went through whatever you went through. And I may not know what happened, but I know no one deserves to go through such pain. Not even you. <sighs> Bless you, Snowbell. Now listen, I don't ask for much, but I need you to do me a favor. Go home. Don't turn around. Don't try to come and find me. And most importantly, don't you dare tell your siblings about this. I don't need them to have another reason to throw snowballs at me and tarnish my lawn. Understand? <laughs> don't worry, Mr. Boogeyman. Your secret's safe with me. Well, you take care of yourself, Hector. Goodbye. I doubt you'll ever change. But for what it's worth, I at least hope you'll find some kind of happiness. So, what did that raggedy old potato sack think of his... <laughs> Christmas gift? I handed it to him, 
but he ripped it to shreds and told me to go jump in a hot spring. <sighs> I guess there's just no change in people. Ugh, I ain't never doing that again.